Why are you here? I'm here to support everybody who's in this, meaning the government ain't really doing too much. The uh, Everybody that's rich is actually technically is overruling the, uh, overruling the uh, government. So really you got the poor getting poor and the rich staying rich, but the government itself is allowing the rich to stay richer. But how we go about the world itself, jobs and so forth, everybody that's out here now had jobs at one time, like me. I still have a job, but I'm not working. But main thing is, is we all coming together as a community, make every, everybody know that, look, what's going to what, what's happening to us, is going to happen to y'all eventually, where y'all out here doing the same thing, protesting. This is our family, and people need to respect that. So when we protest, don't look at it as one generation or so forth. We're all together in this world, together. So. Hi, I'm Jesse Sanders. I'm 29 years old. Um, I actually live in Woodbury, New Jersey, and I'm on my way to Occupy Philadelphia. This is the sixth day that I've personally been there, and it's been going on since last Thursday, which was the 6th of October. And Occupy to me is actually um, a place where people, my demographic, or younger or even older can come and voice their opinion um, about anything. Uh, the job market, uh, how they might be losing their home, how their children are starving, how even though they really would work and work as hard as they could, there's no jobs out there for them to find. So therefore, if there's no money in their pocket, that leaves them to be poverty stricken. And without money, unfortunately, this world's a very cruel place. And that leaves you starving, homeless, and with no future or really um, not many doors to open to make your future to better your future, I guess. And for me, Occupy is simply a place where we all can unite and we can tell the world with one big voice, hey, this is what's going on, wake up. Hi, I'm Ramon Bender, uh, I'm 24 years old. I think it's our chance to speak out against the corporate greed that's going on in our country, the politicians who have been bought by banks and CEOs who are giving themselves $7 million bonuses while their companies circle the toilets and they get billion dollar bailouts. Okay, we're actually about to walk into our permit zone for Occupy Philly. This is our living quarters, the um, tent area. Anyone that would like can come up, bring your tent, pitch it, and call it a night and actually stay, and they'll be fed. They have three meals a day, plus snacks all throughout the day. Very healthy, might I add, from our donations that have been given from people in the community and anonymously, as well as some that we know about. Um, off to our left, we also have our library that we've started, and that is in the last few days. It's also on an honor system to where you can come, like the library, check a book out, and then return it. And then we'll move back this way to the Art Center. Um, this is the Art Center. This is where you can pretty much just draw for fun, or you can make your signs to stand out and voice your opinion in a louder way by the streets as the cars drive by. Also, for the children, they can go over there to be entertained, use markers, crayons, paint. Paint, um, chalk, bubbles, anything that we have, and this has all been donated, and it's all been brought in by people from the outside. Everything from the paper to the paints to the chalk and the bubbles were all donation.
art department over to the library and like I said before the library is on an honor system all books have been donated and all books are kind of rented out and returned when they're finished and seems to be working very well let's go check them out Okay, we're about to go to the front of City Hall where all of our um, protestees, I guess, and their opinions, like my own with my sign, are basically voicing their opinion to the public as well as the cars that are driving by. Let's go this way. Everybody can eat and they have food out all day. 
they feed three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but they also have snacks and stuff throughout the day, water, juices, keep everybody hydrated. And people literally have made this their home because not only is this better than the accommodations that they had, but they're able to not go hungry and they're able to not get wet when it rains. And we've even had people donate their homes and certain facilities so that people can get showers and, um, you know, do clean laundry. Even some people have donated tokens so that people can back, get back and forth to these um, sanitation homes so that people can shower, do their laundry, and so forth. And that's all being donated by the people. So when you look around and you see everything that's going on here, and people have come out and come out in force, and this is better than their accommodations anywhere else they would be, why don't you think about that? And that's just, that's just volumes about what we're doing, and not only what we're doing, but how everybody else is having to live at this point in 2011, barbaric, I'd like to call it, starving, no roof over their head, and those combinations of simple comforts of life, when you take those away from someone's life, they tend to change, and some people might go towards a violent standpoint, but the people out here are trying to be positive, and we're trying to show people that we're not out here to start drama, to be forceful on each other, we're out here to unite as one, and food's always a good place to fill your buddies and unite. Turn to a side, 599. School 